good morning. So today I have Naeem with us, who is a recruiting manager for one of the top companies when it comes to gaming. I'm pretty sure if you have kids playing around this game, you'll have an idea of what this company is. Let's welcome Naeem on 10 Minutes of Hiding Wisdom, where he will tell us about where he works, what his role is within the company, and if he has any tips for job seekers out there, what would it be? Hi Naeem, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Uh, how's your day going today? Not too bad. It's a Monday, a bit slow, still getting out of the weekend, but getting there. So, right. Naim, can you tell us about where you work, what your role is within the company? Yeah, I work at Roblox and currently a recruiting manager for uh, a team of 20. Okay. And how has your experience been managing 20 people? It's been good. We're, we're growing our team out, so it's been really, really hard. The market's been... Uh, Actually, in the Bay Area, there's more recruiting openings than there are uh, engineering openings. So that that's a, that's a little bit of a shocker. So uh, it's been hard. It's been hard. How do how do I compete against other recruiting manager for non technical roles? Uh, how do we improve our process? How do we find good talent? Uh, a lot of that's a big challenge. And from your perspective, because you you are a recruiting manager, why do you think there's so many? Why are so many people like looking out for jobs, and why are there more openings when it comes to recruitment itself, as opposed to different roles? Can you maybe share your opinion on that? I think uh, I mean, like for example, Facebook's going to hire ten thousand uh, people to work on their metaverse, for example. And how how are you going to hire the ten thousand people? You're going to need good recruiters. You're going to need people who are technical. Uh, but they don't grow on trees. So if everything is going to go towards engineering, you know, if we're going to create these metaverses, you're going to need the engineers to hire from other companies. And in order to do that, you're going to need good recruiters, good sourcers, and even good coordinators. Uh, so the supply and demand is very different versus like a sales role. There's a lot more crossover from sales to recruiting. But I think the big gap is uh, we won't take a chance on a person who works sales or skills that are very similar to get into recruiting so uh, that's why recruiters are on high demand they're asking for high salaries and you'd, you'd be surprised with some of the salaries that uh, uh i'm i'm told that people want so <laughs> i mean it does make sense because i think covid and everything with people companies going remote a lot of people got much more aware of their needs of their requirements and they understand that okay there is a demand for our skills so Why compromise on anything, anything less than what they want? So it does make sense. But then again, I think companies are struggling as well to fill in roles. So it definitely makes sense. But I'd love to hear when it comes to Roblox specifically, um, how do you make sure that you find great talent? How do you make sure that the candidates that you find are the right fit for your roles? I'd love to hear about your own process within the company. I think my approach is a little different and probably Roblox's approach is a little different. It's not more so of how do you fit in is what can we do to uh, make you feel like you fit in, right? What do we offer you, right? Make it more of a conversation, put it back on them. Like, what is it that you're looking for? And I like really honest conversations. Like I like, I want money. I want work-life flexibility. How is the office? Like I've, you know, how is the free food? Like, you know, people, people are different for me. I'm very driven by honestly compensation. And then the work culture is very, very like, and then the product, uh, but, for somebody like you, it could be completely different. So I don't sit there and pretend, you know, I I think I know what you want and what can you do to impress me? It's more of like, how can I impress you too? Because I'm pretty sure Facebook's talking to you, Google's talking to you, and I want you to have the, the best conversation with me and uh, really get you excited. So um, it's more of a, I hope they interview me just as hard as I interview them. I love that. I think um, it shows a very customer-centric approach that you take because at the end of the day, you understand that employees are an asset to your company, so you're making sure that they're comfortable with the position as well, which is something that's so important because I think that helps in the long run as well because it helps in retaining employees because they feel like their opinion matters, their voice matters, and making sure that you identify what they want at early stages helps to retain them for much longer. So how is your hiring process like name? Like what, how many are you, is your process long when it comes to hiring? Because I think a lot of good companies tend to lose on good candidates just because the process takes three to four weeks, sometimes even two months. So how do you make sure that you create a process that's seamless, that's much more efficient, that's much more productive? Yeah, we can get somebody in and out. Like if they interviewed... Let's say we do a phone screen Monday. We can get you set up for on-site Tuesday. 
and then go through a round table. I mean, like worst case, um, seven days, you know, but sometimes I also want to take, uh, in consideration, um, the candidates sometimes want the process drawn out really, really long to prepare. And then some candidates really, really need to get hired and quickly go. So it really just depends. It's very awesome that we have the luxury to speed things up as fast as possible and then also slow it down and push it to like January as well. So um, how do we do that? I guess is to stay consistent, be very organized, uh, making sure we have interviewers, backup interviewers, um, uh, work with recruiting coordinators, uh, and then our VP is always making time to uh, be flexible as well. So that's a team effort for sure. Now I don't know why anyone wouldn't want to join Roblox because seven days, that's really impressive because I think um, most of the companies that I've spoken to, when we work with them, when we understand their hiring process, usually it takes two to three weeks minimum. So it's very impressive as to you and how you're improving the recruiting, recruiting process. But then again, you're also taking into consideration um, the candidate's availability, how they want to prepare. So it's definitely really impressive. Okay, then my last question would be, because you've been in this position for quite a while, I I'd love to hear what are some tips that you would have for job seekers out there mm-hmm. and um, how is your what is your perspective on global hiring is Roblox open to global hiring or do are you looking for candidates within the US can you specify more that, about mm-hmm. that yeah Roblox is definitely um, we're looking to hire uh, within office within California so uh, we do have a lot of uh, you know, our trust and safety teams uh, outside of the U.S. So to every single picture is reviewed by a team, which is really, really cool. Um, but also uh, to kind of give a tip and trick on how to get more interviews, whether you're an engineer, whether you're sales, uh, whoever's listening, right, is I would look at the job that you want. So give me an example of a job for you. Like what is a job that uh, – what do you think? I'll put it back on you. Let's just say sales, right? Or uh, recruiter. You go on the company's website and then you look at some of the points. Like in sales, we're looking for somebody who has a high motor. We're looking for somebody who's great with cold calling, right? You take some of those keywords and start to implement it on your resume and then give them what they're looking for. Because the person who most likely read that job description or wrote that job description is going to read your resume and you're going to mimic exactly what they're looking for. So that is a quick, easy way to um, really mirror your resume to uh, the job description that you're applying for and essentially tell them what they want to hear. They tell you what they want and I'm pretty sure you can uh, find some buzzwords that match up with your experience and uh, it's a good little hack. Okay, well, you heard it from Naeem. That's definitely really helpful because I think a lot of us usually get scared that, okay, we don't want to say exactly what they're looking for because then they think like we just copy and paste it. But I think you need to definitely include your experience, how it would reflect the work that you've done, which is something that's very important. But other than that, Naeem, thank you so much for coming on the show. We love to keep things short. It's a Monday morning. We understand that you might have a lot of things to do. But thank you so much for joining us on the show and sharing your experience and your wisdom with us. It was an absolute pleasure. Likewise, thank you so much for that.